Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about multiplication of fractions, specifically multiplication of whole numbers by a mixed fraction. Example, exercising is essential to keep our bodies healthy and strong. Aunt May is exercising for one and one half hours every day. How many hours did she spend in exercising for three days? Are we given one and one half hours and three days? It is best to visualize this problem first by having a diagram. So that's easy for students to understand the problem. So let's draw one and one half hours. How does it look like? So we have one whole and then one half. Let's have that one whole and then one half. Okay, that's one whole and one half. We can shade the whole one whole part and then the one half this is for day one but Aunt May is exercising for three days so we have to draw another one to have it on the second day this is this is for day two this is for day three How many holes do we have now? We have one, two, and then three. We have to draw that here, the other side. So we'll have three holes here. It's one hole, another hole, second, the third hole. Next, how many one half do we have? This is one, two, and three. So one half plus one half is equivalent to one whole. So this two is equivalent to one whole. This is the fourth whole. So we're going to draw it here. Another whole for the two one half. There you go. And then what's left is one half so we can draw the one half there one half here now we can get the answer we have four and one half hours so it's easy we can also solve it this way one and one half times three so the first thing that we have to do is to change mixed number to improper fraction so how to change it times and then plus two times one is equal to two two plus one is equal to three so we'll put three over two or three halves times three okay is there something that we can cancel no so it means let's, let's proceed to multiplication. 3 times 3 is equal to 9 and then copy 2. We can change 9 halves into mixed number because this is an improper fraction. How are we going to do that? We will divide 9 by 2. How many 2's are there in 9? There are 4. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. So our answer is 4. That's our whole number. The remainder 1 here is our numerator. And the 2 here is our denominator. So we have four and one half hours 
Okay, that's it. Another example, Rams likes to buy two and three-fourths kilos of pork for her new recipe. How much will she pay for it if one kilo is 150 pesos? Our given, two and three-fourths kilos of pork. And one kilo is 150 pesos. How to solve this? First, we need to understand that Prems likes to buy two and three fourths kilos. So it means we will draw two boxes and three fourths of that box. The diagram. We'll draw two boxes. That's one. We'll shade that because Prems will buy. Let's have another one. We'll just shade it. And then we'll draw the three fourths. The three fourths. three-fourths so we'll be shading three parts it's one it's two and then three based on the problem one kilo is 150 pesos so it means this is 150 pesos as well as this one 150 pesos this one we just need to have this is also 150 pesos but we need to get three parts out of four of the 150 pesos so so what shall we do to get the three fourths of the 150 pesos so based on the diagram we can divide the whole by four it means we can divide 150 pesos by 4. So 150 divided by 4. How many 4s are there in 15? There are 3. 3 times 4, that's 12. Subtract. 15 minus 12, that's 3. Bring down 0. 30 divided by 4, 7. 7 times 4, 28 subtract 30 minus 28 that's 2 then we can put the decimal point here the decimal point there because it's a whole number so the decimal point is just right at the back of the last number so we'll add 0 bring down 0 how many 4's are there in 20 there are 5 5 times 4 it's 20 then subtract 0 so it means each box is 37 pesos and 50 centavos we can write 37 pesos and 50 centavos in each box so 37.50 37 and 50 centavos that's 37 and 50 centavos that's 37 and 50 centavos because the total of this is 150 okay now let's find out the three-fourths of 150 by adding 37 and 50 centavos for three times we can write it here 37 pesos and 50 centavos adding it three times or just multiplying it to three so it's easy just multiply zero times three is zero five times three is 15 carry one three times seven is 21 plus 1 22 carry 2 3 times 3 that's 9 
plus 2 is equal to 11. And we have two decimal places here, so we will do that. 1, 2, that's here. So we'll have 112 pesos and 50 centavos is the three-fourths of 150 pesos. Now, it is time for us to add 112 pesos and 50 centavos and the 150 here and another 150 here so that we will know how much prems will pay for two and one-fourth kilos of pork. Now we can add the 150 pesos here and this and then this. So let's write it. 150 pesos and another 150 pesos and the uh, 112 pesos and 50 centavos that's zero five copy decimal point then that's two five plus five plus one that's eleven carry one and then one plus one plus one plus one is four hundred four that will give us 412 pesos and 50 centavos this is the amount prems will pay for two and three fourths kilos of pork see it's very easy but we can also solve it this way we'll have two and three fourths times 150 first thing that we should do is to change mix number to improper fraction by multiplying and adding this so 2 times 4 is 8 plus 3 is 11 we'll put 11 then copy the denominator which is 4 then multiply it to 150 is there something that we can cancel Yes, we have, we have here 4 and 150, it, we can divide it by 2, we'll write 2 here, and this one will write 75, okay, there you go. Next, we can go to multiplication, we'll have 75 times 11. So we'll perform that 75 times 11. 5 times 1 is 5. 7 times 1 is 7. 5 times 1 is 5. 7 times 1 is 7. So this is 5. This is 12. And carry 1 to 7. That will give us 8. So it means 11 times 75 is 825 then copy our 2 we can now divide 825 by 2 825 divided by 2 how many 2's are there in 8 there are 4 4 times 2 is equal to 8 subtract zero so bring down two how many twos are there in twos that's one one times two is two bring down five how many twos are there in five there are two two times two is equal to four subtract we have one a decimal point and then zero bring down zero how many twos are there in 10? There are 5. So 5 times 2 is equal to 10. 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. The answer is 412 pesos and 50 centavos. So we get the same answer. Another example is 5 times 2 and 5 sixth okay in solving this we need to make sure that the mixed number 
is changed into improper fraction so that we can already go directly to multiplication so we'll change that one to so copy five times we will do six times two then whatever is answer add it to five so six times two is 12 plus 5 is 17 and copy 6 next is there something that we can cancel so no we don't have um, something to cancel so we will just continue to multiplication 5 times 17 is how much multiply 17 and 5 5 times 17 35 5 times 1 is 5 plus 3 is 8. So the answer is 85. Let's do that. 85 and copy 6. Next, let's divide 85 and 6. 85 divided by 6. How many 6 are there in 8? There's 1. 1 times 6 is 6. Minus 8 minus 6 is 2. Bring down 5. How many 6 are there in 25? There are 4. 4 times 6 is 24. Now we can subtract 25 minus 24 is 1. So our answer is 14. That will become our whole number. This one will be our numerator. And this one will be our denominator. So the answer is 14 and 1 6. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!